Hello everybody. Uh, we've got, well, this is kind of a new product. This is not from Amazon or whatever. So uh, we've got kind of, kind of an unboxing, uh, but we're also working on the, obviously, the Echo. This is the Timberwolf uh, CS590 uh, chainsaw. Now, as you can see, it has a country line blade on it. That is, or bar. Uh, that is because that's the 20 inch when I bought this I got it with the 24 inch uh, At the moment. I don't need 24 inches uh, to do the stuff. I'm doing uh, but uh, one thing I am going to do is upgrade this chain and uh, So let's take a look at what I got And That's this right here uh, again same company country line uh, and uh, it is a 20 inch titanium chain. So uh, the titanium chains, I've already been using one on my 14 inch uh, Echo and it's been working great. Uh, I haven't had to sharpen it and I've been cutting with it for quite, I've been cutting a lot of stuff with it. I've been felling some, some, some trees, bucking, limbing, etc and uh, it's been doing really well. So we're gonna go ahead in this. Uh, it comes, it does have a little plastic wrapper that comes in this, or this comes in, I guess I should say. Uh, and then inside we've got the chain. Uh, the chain's just all coiled up. They give you a uh, sticker here and the sticker just tells you which model the chain is. Uh, for those of you who already know this stuff, you of course understand what this means, especially the 72. Uh, if you don't know, um, basically uh, the chains have some specifications to them. Uh, that's this information here. Uh, link spacing, how wide the gap is on the bar versus how wide it is on the chain uh, for the part that runs inside the bar. Uh, and then this one even tells you what diameter of uh, file that you use to sharpen the chain. Uh, and along with that, uh, well, 72 means there's 72 links that make up the chain uh, so that it runs properly. It has the right uh, gearing at the front and gearing at the back and everything to drive that, very similar to a bicycle chain. Um, but uh, that's that. And then it also has uh, the little instruction kind of guide here and uh, as you can see it gives you some information there small medium large there's pitch and file and all that kind of stuff which is what is on the front uh, it talks about the filing guides and how to file and the angles and things of that nature for when you do file it uh, and it gives you a handful of other information for example how to um, tighten the chain make sure that it's at the proper tightness so it's not too loose or too tight I've had them where they're too loose and they actually jump off of the bar uh, fortunately nobody was hurt with that uh, and then I've had them where they are tight to the point where they just don't want to move properly so anyhow that's in there for for you as you need it uh, the sticker they say to put it on the uh, chassis generally you're going to put it on the back end here uh, so you can see it by the trigger uh, I, I know I've seen that on some of the other chainsaws uh, but and then it comes in a nice little tin box so once you're done I guess you could keep the tin box if you want to uh, to throw some stuff in if you have maybe some short pencils to do some marking with or or what have you uh, you can throw stuff like that in there some paracord uh, that you can use for tying off and figuring out you know lengths or something but uh, let's go ahead and get this changed out now this is the standard tool that came with the uh, chainsaw you've got a spark plug wrench here and you've got the nut wrench there and then you do have the flathead screwdriver flathead screwdriver is used on a few areas on this uh, generally for caps and things like that but uh, we'll go ahead and loosen this up and uh, get her changed out
Now, when you do this, just to mention, you've got your tightening screw right there. Uh, you're going to want to loosen that up just a little bit so that when you uh, first put this new chain on and try to get everything lined up and then get this on there, you want to uh, make sure that that's not too far out because the chain does loosen up over time and uh, the titanium ones don't move as much as the regular ones from what I've noticed but uh, you still need to loosen it up so I'm going to go ahead and take it and give it basically one full turn and that should give me roughly enough and I like to kind of clean some of this garbage out of here it's at least a little better so you don't have as much crud in there to gum things up with of course it'll pack full again once we get to using it but you know say lovey anyhow so what we're going to do we pull the blade back or the bar back and then we work it off of the drive there now I'm not getting rid of this old chain um, it just needs sharpened right now really is all it is but I want to uh, it hasn't even been sharpened for one one time yet so it is a new chain so there's no point in getting rid of it when it can be used I just want to go to the titanium so that I don't have to go through the sharpening process nearly so often. Uh, it's just going to make things work a little bit better, a little longer. Um, and then I can switch over to the other one whenever I want. Now, when you do this, when you put this on the chainsaw, there are basically two ways that it can go on one is the right way one is the wrong way if you see the links like this this is your cutter this is basically a basically it's like a wiper it cleans out the shavings so that the cutter has a clean pass when it goes through to cut the wood um, and you need that ahead because the back end of this is not sharp it's not going to do anything. So if you put it on backwards, it's not going to work properly. The other thing is, as you look at the bottom, the bottom is made a little different where it curves at the back and then it's concaved at the front. Looks kind of, uh, reminds me of like a shark tooth. And the shark tooth, the point needs to point forward on the top of the blade. It needs to point backwards on the bottom of the blade or of the bar. Uh, and with this one, because I've been using this one for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and turn the bar over. Uh, the reason for that is because the bar does get worn as well, and I want the bar to wear as evenly as possible. So every time I sit here, maybe every time I change this blade or go to sharpen it because it lasts so long, I may go ahead and flip the bar over first and then go ahead and sharpen it. That way, I know that the bar is getting a nice, even wear. go now when you go to put this back together you want to pay attention to your manufacturers recommendations as to how these things are supposed to be tightened properly and uh, the angles and things like that
Now when I tighten these down, obviously I go back and forth. And I don't kill myself doing this, but I do put a pretty good amount of pressure on them to make sure that nothing's going to come loose on me. With all the vibration and everything, it's too easy for something like this to walk loose and uh, a chain goes flying off or anything like that. And obviously that is an accident waiting to happen. So there we go. Uh, chain is tight. The uh, new titanium uh, chain is ready to go. Uh, the saw is ready for the next tree. I'm going to go ahead and try out that new chain. See how she works. My suggestion, wear gloves. Definitely wear eye protection when doing stuff like this. I'm going to try for it to go that way. We'll see. There we go. It's just like I wanted it. It's exactly where I wanted to lay it. And that thing cut through that like a hot knife through butter. So uh, definitely suggest those titanium chains. Uh, Country Line is the brand that I got. You can of course try some other kinds if you want. If you're looking for Country Line, I got them at 
com uh, company, a store called Tractor Supply Company. So uh, you can look there to go get them for any of you guys that are going to be doing some of this. But uh, that was that was easy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.